Hey, it's Demetrius. Thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna do a little tutorial here. Now, I don't know how useful this will be to anyone, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Well, it's not really a trick, but I'm gonna show you how you can use Sony Vegas as an image editor. And it actually works really well at editing images. Now certainly there's things you can't do like you know draw at least in the version I have but the things that you can do are you can do very well not super easy but easily enough and the effect is very good and not only that but uh, you can save the images as JPEGs and they come out as high quality JPEGs about as good as it gets so I'm gonna show you how to make a banner using Sony Vegas now uh, I'm probably gonna make one more video about this and I'm gonna show you how to blend so several pictures together to make uh, like sort of a collage but uh, for now I'm gonna show you the basics alright well, let's try this out I wasn't able to do this in real time but I'm gonna do my best to narrate here so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to file and uh, go to properties and we're gonna define the size of our banner now for the sake of this video I chose 500 width, 200 height. It doesn't matter. Uh, you make your banner whatever size you want it to be. Usually they're a little bit longer and a little less tall, but it doesn't matter. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now, this is our preview screen. Uh, you want to set it to preview auto it doesn't matter terribly especially if you have a good computer I don't so preview auto is good for now and uh, you can stretch or shrink uh, dimensions here basically you just want to make sure that your preview window isn't shrunken down so that square that's the actual size of the banner Now we're going to go over to our media generator tab, uh, usually in the bottom left of your screen. At the very bottom there are some tabs there. But uh, in case your media genera generator tab isn't there, go to view and make sure there's a check mark next to it. So if I were to check it off, it wouldn't be there so make sure that's checked on now there's quite a few things we can use here for our banner bear in mind you don't have to use any of this but uh, I am going to there's solid colors color gradients and what they call noise textures which are just uh, kinda neat looking little backgrounds so I'm gonna use one of these um, I can't even read what it says but it looks like marble so this is gonna be the base of my banner alright next we go to insert and we select text media and we just wanna make sure that the text media is above our selected image otherwise the image will cover up the text uh, Sony Vegas works with layers kinda like Photoshop and the top layer always covers up the bottom layer so here we're gonna write something uh, I just put marble madness because well the background kinda looks like marble and I couldn't think of anything better plus it doesn't really matter what I write I just want some text so marble madness it is 
That's our text. Fantastic. Now we're going to pick a font. You can see it was on Arial before. And uh, it basically, whatever fonts you have on your computer. I'm going to scroll through some of them here until I find one I like a little bit. I'm not even sure what the name is of the one I settled on, but uh, whatever. Okay, so I picked a font. Now, I adjusted the size a little bit, made it a little bit bigger. And now we're going to go to effects. Now you can kind of see in the bottom right of the screen what changes ha occur when I scroll around here. You can change the color of your text. Uh, I made it kind of a light blue. Or cyan. That's the properties. Now we're going to effects. My bad. Now there's a few things we can do here. Now we can draw an outline. You see the width of the slider? Feather is, uh, it makes it kind of look like it's blending. And basically the more feather you have, the smaller it'll look uh, depending on how much uh, width you have. Now the bottom slider controls the shadow here. Uh, I don't really use that too much, but if you want to have shadow behind your text, create the illusion of uh, some depth there, it's there. Not an effect I particularly like, but uh, if you like it, there you are. I'm just going to reset that, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to use that, so... Now we're going to go back to the outline. This is an effect I like to use just because it tends to make text easier to read if nothing else. And for now we're going to go with a red outline. You can make it big, you can make it small. I like small better. Again feather is like blending and the smaller you have it the less feather you're probably going to want, otherwise it's not really going to show. Now, one more thing you can do, a little interesting effect with your text, if you go to the text media box itself, there's a line at the top. You can drag it up and down, and that determines uh, the opacity, or the transparency. So if you have it like about 75% transparency, you can kind of see through it a little bit. It's an interesting eye-pleasing effect. I use it now and then. Um, not always. But uh, for this banner, I am not going to do that. It uh, generally works really well with uh, images as well, not just text. Not now, kitty. Alright. So I'm settling on my line there. We are going to show you how to move your text around if you so choose. It's centered by default. Now the easiest way to move it is in the, uh, the pan crop menu here. Um, but it's not the only way. Unless you're doing some really complex text, I would, wouldn't would bother moving it the other way, but I'll show you anyhow. Now you can just drag this with your mouse up, down, left, right, and it'll adjust the position of the text. The other way, we go back to the text media generator and there's a tab called placement 
and here you can move it around uh, freeform and it'll move it pretty much exactly the same way as the pan crop menu will but uh, you can't do it as precise because in the pan crop menu you can select it to only move horizontally or vertically which is a big help you can also select uh, top left, top right, uh, bottom, middle and that's kinda nice and there is the safe zone which you can make zero if you wish and that will determine how much of a border is left when it's moved to the top left or top right or whatnot. So that's how you move the text around.